Hello, and welcome to the Best Today podcast. I am your host, Shante Grant. And today I've got a short episode for you. I really want to just share something that came to my mind earlier this summer. I made a note about it and wanted to bring it to the podcast. So I'm bringing it to you now as a place for it to live. One, so you can save it is you, if you need to come back and remind yourself of it. If you need to share it, which share this, please share podcast episodes. And thank you for those of you who do. Um, And also because I want it maybe to be a part of a conversation starter, like pretty much everything that I do, I want it to start a conversation um, so that you can engage with it. And I thought about like this cost of trying to capture everything. So in July, as you may know, we remove ourselves from social media at Best Today. Our audience does it. We call it our social media reset. We log off of social media. And in July is usually when we do a good bit of travel as a family. Um, And this July was no different. So we were headed to Florida and we're on the road and I'm looking out the window and it's just, I can't remember. It was just, I I think it was a sunset that was happening. Yeah, it was a sunset and oh, it was so beautiful. And I've tried capturing sunrises and sunsets on my phone. And sometimes you get it and the picture is really pretty, but it never quite does it justice. But this time I was sitting there and watching the sunset and I thought about how beautiful it was and how I didn't feel the need to pull my phone out to try to capture it because I had already in the month not been on social media and usually I'm capturing it to share it because it is so beautiful and really I mean, I do want to share just the beauty of that. I want to be a a reminder for people of the beauty that is in this world that costs us zero dollars to experience and appreciate. And I'm grateful for photographers who do things like that or artists who recreate it with their art because it's it's God's creation, right? The sun setting. It's just it's so if you've never just sat and watch the sun come up or sunrise. Oh, same thing. Sunrise or the sunset. Please make that a thing that you prioritize to do in your lifetime. Like this week, it is just beautiful. And it's, they're always different. It's the the look, the colors, they're all, they're so different, but they, there's just something about it, right? So that's why I was having this whole profound moment looking out the window <laughs> um, while we're driving headed to Florida and I'm watching the sunset and seeing these beautiful colors. And I'm thinking about the fact that I'm not going to capture this this time. First of all, it's really hard to capture through a window if you're moving in a car. But I thought, I was thinking to myself, I'm not going to try to capture this. Instead, what I'm going to do is let this do in me exactly what it was made to do. Because when we try to capture certain things and capture things, when I say capture, I mean, pull out our cameras, our phones, um, you know, trying to document it, right? So that we can either save it for later to rewatch or to share it. I believe something is lost in that. And that's the cost of capturing, trying to capture everything. And I was thinking as I was watching this sunset and seeing, I'm I'm closing my eyes even now as I talk to you about it, because when I close my eyes, I'm right back in that car and I'm looking and I see it in my mind. And I thought to myself, instead of trying to pull my phone out and take a picture or a video to share and show the people I care for, the people in my audience, this beautiful thing that I experienced and saw, What if instead I let myself fully experience it and then let it do in me what it's supposed to do? Because there's something about pausing to appreciate goodness and beauty. It is doing something to you. It is changing you for the better. It's doing some good, even if you don't feel or see it in that moment. And that's the cost of trying to capture everything. You lose that. What if instead of trying to capture everything, I let the thing I'm experiencing, I fully experience it and let it do in me the thing it's supposed to do. And now the way in which I can share it for those things that even need to be shared. Not everything needs to be captured and shared. Right. But for those things that even do, why not let it do what it is going to do in me? And I'll reach far more people and I'll have it'll be far more potent if now this 
partially like this changed me now goes out into the world and just in that and being that new creature that new having that that experience that is going to pour out in some form or fashion into others and that's the way it's shared not in see this thing I saw but man, look at this thing I experienced and what it did in me and how that's helping me to be different. It's even shaping how I'm having this conversation with you right now, right? At Best Today, we exist to help women just like you be your best one today at a time. So each week on the podcast, we are going to highlight your stories and your voices. So let's see what's in the inbox today. Today, we have a five-star review of our September workshop from our three-part workshop series. It comes from EMC and she writes, Clear View, terrific workshop with really practical and helpful outcomes. Shante has such a gift for helping you untangle all of your thoughts, feelings, and actions so that you can see everything clearly. I have such a clearer view of my own compass now and the actions that lead me toward or away from who I want to be. Thank you so much um, for this five-star review. This was of our September workshop, The Compass Versus the Clock, How to Create a Life Guided by What Matters Most Versus Fighting Against the Clock. If you want to learn how to design your life's compass, how to subject the clock, the to-dos, the doing of this life to what matters most, this workshop is available for you right now for replay and you have the replay access through the remainder of the year. Go to besttoday.co forward slash workshop or just wherever you're listening, scroll down and you'll see it linked in today's show notes. Go get the replay right now. There's about maybe two minutes between you um, and the workshop. So you can go to besttoday.co forward slash workshop to get that September workshop. And don't forget to bundle to get access to all of our workshops in this three-part series, September, October, and November. You can go right now and join us live if you make it in time for the live or all always remember everyone gets access to the replay thank you so much for the five-star review and remember you can get yours right now at besttoday.co forward slash workshop and I thought to myself that is the cost of trying to capture everything you lose out on fully experiencing the thing you're trying to experience and it could be anything witnessing the birth of a child, a sunrise, a sunset, seeing something beautiful on a walk, which listen, I am the queen of, ooh, that's so pretty. I gotta take a picture of it, right? (laughs) Because I just love it. But sometimes ask yourself, what's the cost of that? Am I in doing this? I am not allowing myself to fully live it. I see people who are experiencing, you know, if you're at a concert or something and you're experiencing it through the phone, you are recording it and you're, you're there right now live, but you're watching it through a phone that's not the same experience. You're not getting the same experience as the person with nothing in their hand and their two eyeballs and ears are fully taking in the spirit. Your body is taking in that full experience. And this is, again, for anything in life, sitting and watching your children play, spending time having a conversation with friends, being fully present allows us to reap all of the benefits of the thing we are experiencing and pulling out a phone and separating that, like putting that separation between the good thing and you, when you pull out that phone or a camera, you've ju- it cost you something. It cost you the fullness of that. And that's what came to my mind. This is the cost of trying to capture everything. I'm now losing out on the benefit of withdrawing every ounce of benefit from fully being present and fully experiencing this thing I am experiencing right now, right? You want to share, right, with others or maybe just have it for your own remembrance. But I want to invite you to consider what if the best way you can share that with the world is by letting it change you and bring that change you to the world that you live in and your people, your world, your small world or the world, right? What if this is an experience that was made to transform you, to teach you something, to show you something, to give you an idea, a revelation about something and you missed out on that, that's the cause, right? We don't have to capture everything to share or even relive it, remember it. Instead, experience it fully 
Because what if part of your contribution to your family, your community, your life, isn't sharing the video or the photo, but sharing how it transformed you? But the transformation doesn't take place when you put that device between you and the experience. That's what I wanted to leave some thought with you today. That is the cost of sharing everything, putting that blockade between you and the experience, right? The distraction. For me, one of the things that moment taught me is that I can trust that certain experiences become a part of me. They really do become a part of me and that I can then bring that into the parts of my life in a way that I would not have been able to do if I had inserted the distraction of trying to capture it with a photo or a video. I hope you get this. It's short enough to stop it and go listen again, but that's what I have for you today, my friends. What is the cost of trying to capture every little thing? And an invitation to say, you don't have to, because there is a cost. Thank you for being present with me for this week's episode of the Best Today podcast. Everything that I do here in the podcast through Best Today is to help you to live well. To learn more about how to get started with Best Today resources, you can go to besttoday.co forward slash quiz. And if you want to hear more from me, I invite you to join me on my online publication For Those on the Journey, which you can find at forthoseonthejourney.com is also linked here in the show notes. Thank you so much again for listening to this week's episode of the podcast. I can't wait to hear your thoughts and feedback on this one. And I'll talk to you on the next episode. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this week's episode of the Best Today podcast, you are going to love the Best Today guide. Our Better Than a Planner guide teaches you how to get clear on what you want, identify your self-destructive habits and behaviors, and intentionally create space to prioritize yourself every single day. Don't go the journey to being your best one today at a time without the Best Today guide. See inside its pages and order yours today at besttodayguide.com. Even better, when you order the Best Today Guide, we gift you with your first month free inside of the Best Today membership. So what are you waiting for? We're giving you everything you need to trade busy for intention. Go to besttodayguide.com and order yours today and join thousands of women across the globe proclaiming each day, this is what my best today looks like.